Meg lost it when the CEO of Netflix fired her from her hosting position on the upcoming White House First Lady series. A series where Meghan gave tours of the White House and talked about past First Ladies was being considered by Netflix. With a woke twist from Meghan, this will all be about female empowerment. Nevertheless, the Netflix crew made an attempt to get in touch with the first women, but they were unsuccessful, especially after learning that her name was Meghan Markle. The survey results surprised Amaya Joshi, the project vision manager at Netflix, as she had assumed Meghan had a close relationship with female politicians. However, the current results showed otherwise, and the White House official is unwilling to grant Meghan access as long as her relationship with the royal family remains tense. Meghan and Harry weren't there at the Clooney family's recent celebration. Meghan wasn't there at the Obama's celebration either. Naturally, as long as Meghan is not in good standing with the royal family, President Biden will not let her to enter the White House. In addition, Meghan's education and skills are not valued, she is unrelated to politics, presidents, or the White House. Michelle Obama has stated time and time again that she is not interested in running for president. She witnessed the effort and time it took for her husband, as well as the impact it had on their entire family, and she was not willing to go through it all again. There is no way Michelle would go through a series in the White House with Meghan, who entered American politics as a host and has always wanted drama. First of all, she didn't even get a lift on Air Force One, so it doesn't seem like the Bidens are interested in interacting with her. Secondly, she poses a security risk and has demonstrated her lack of ability to host or present any content. Netflix could find someone with far greater qualifications. Any serious politician, filmmaker, producer, etc. would prefer not to work with Markle. Despite her claims that she sought peace and seclusion for her son and Harry, she has made herself unpopular, controversial, and very visible. Whether or not she has a title is actually irrelevant, it won't help her get into politics. In the USA, the majority of candidates for office have years of experience and a background in business, law, or another field. Miss Markle believes she is a world-class person with significant insight to share with North America, based on her three years spent in the UK. Maybe she dreams of teaching yoga to the underprivileged and unemployed. It's common knowledge that women find it difficult to accept when they are corrected. For this reason, should Meghan decide to run for president, she will not only make it in politics. Remember that her and Harry's popularity has declined in the United States in line with the decline in the United Kingdom. Meghan thinks everyone loves her in her small world. She has a distinct businessman's voice. She wouldn't make it through the opening round of speeches if she decided to run for office. None of the following apply to her. She thinks that she does. After all, just 17 million Americans, or roughly 5% of the population, watched the Oprah interview.